In this microsode, I will quickly illustrate some of the node options in Inkscape version 0.46. The node tool is rather important in Inkscape because it can be used in numerous ways to modify shapes and paths. So let's take a look at it. Our node tool is found in the toolbox and if we uh, hover over it, we get an edit path by nodes option. I'm going to go ahead and select that. and. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is take a look at this line down here. So having my node tool selected and I select this particular line, you see that I have two endpoints end exposed. Those are the nodes. We have a starting point and an ending point. And basically the first thing I want to illustrate is how to add another node on this line. You can do that by either double clicking anywhere you want on the line or, let me undo that, having both selected you can hit our plus sign here which adds a new node in between the two nodes that you selected okay it works the same way as having all three of these selected if I hit the add node again basically what it'll do is divide between nodes so I'll hit it and you can see that it divided these two nodes I'll insert more nodes again and you can see how that works. Having that many nodes on a line, you can select a node and move it individually in order to adjust the path. Okay, so let's back up. Okay, now we have all these whoops, did too many there. Now we have all these nodes. What if I wanted to delete a node? Well, we use our delete selected node buttons next. We highlight the node that we want to delete and we hit our delete selected nodes button. We can hold multiples down by holding your shift key down or you can just window around a section of them and hit delete and that's how that works. Okay the next thing that I want to want to illustrate on our node uh, toolbar here is uh, joining paths together. Um, here I have an open shape and let's say for example I wanted to join the nodes. I wanted to move these nodes here both of them equally on the left and right and join them together. Okay that is done by our join selected nodes tool. Okay, so that works by selecting both the open end nodes and then selecting our icon. And you can see that it pushes um, the nodes in on an equal distance on both the left and the right and joins them together. So I, now I have a closed path. Okay, I'll go ahead and undo that. Our next option in our node tool is let me select this. What if we wanted to close this endpoint with a node tool? Now we all know that we can do that with the Bezier path just by double clicking on it, selecting our Bezier path, selecting the open square, and clicking to the other square. That will close it. Okay? But we can do that with the node tool by hitting this option, join selected end nodes with a new segment. Okay? So I pick these two end nodes, I pick my button, and you see that it joined it. That's how simple that works. So anywhere that you've got an open path, you can close the path by using that option. Okay, now let's select this one here. Let's make sure it's a path. And the next one I want to talk about is split path between two non-endpoint nodes. Okay, so if I want to split the path here, I'm going to select this one, select this one, hit my button, and you see that I've deleted a section. So that works in the opposite way. You saw here I connected and basically if I want to remove any portion of the path I can remove it by using that tool. So let me undo that. Okay, let's take a look at our next option. Uh, 
split path. Okay, we've done that one. Let's. Uh, it would be break path at a selected node. Now, basically, what that does is it'll divide your path up. It'll break it so you can move the node away from each other. So we'll select our our path. We'll pick a node. We'll break it right there. And what that does is allows us to open up that path and move it separately. Okay. We'll undo that. Next option. Yeah, we want to undo that one more time. There we go. Get it back to where we were. Okay, and our next option in the node path is make selected nodes a corner. Okay, now perhaps this wasn't a corner here, so let me just move ahead just a little bit. Okay, and I've got this path drawn, and I want to make this node right here a corner so it's nice and sharp like everything else. So I can pick on that, select this option here, and then I can move my bars in, and I'm holding my control key down to match it back up again. And you can see that I get a, a nice square. Now if you wanted that corner um, smooth, then you'd be selecting this option here. Okay, that's kind of self-explanatory. Move that over here. We'll undo that. And basically the smooth option actually allows you to move your control handles, your node uh, handles actually separately from one another. Okay. So we'll undo that. If I want the node handles to always move equally, then I select make selected nodes symmetric. Okay. Now when I move the node handle, you see that they move together equally. Okay, we'll undo that. Okay, the next option is make selected segments lines. Okay, now what does that do? Well, let's take a look at our circle here. And I'm going to pick this option here. And we'll pick these two things. And if I hit make selected uh, endpoints align, basically what I've done is I've taken that curve between nodes and I've made it straight. Okay, let's see that again. We select node here, node here, holding the shift key down, and we can make that straight. We can grab the other side, and we can make that straight, and you get a shape something about like that. Okay, so let's back up. Um, next option is make selected segments a curve. So let's go back to our square. We'll select both these nodes and we'll make it a curve. We now have a curve. So we can undo all that. And we'll go back in. And these two options here are let's say, for example, you have a square or a circle or any shape it is not a path until you make it one. So if I were to click on this square, before you saw me go to the path, object to path, stroke to path, but we can do that from the nodes toolbar as well. As well, We just select the shape and we hit convert object to path. We can do the same thing. Let me just back up here and let's make this a little thicker so we can see what's going on. Okay, so we'll convert it to a path, and then we'll convert the path, the stroke, to a path. Okay, and what that does is allows us to change the stroke 
Okay, so we can kind of node sculpt that in a way. And finally, we have show the Bezier handles on selected nodes. Okay, so when we double click on an object that is a path, we don't see the Bezier handles here. But if I want to click on a node and hit show Bezier handles, you can see that uh, my handles are now exposed. If I want to turn that off, you can see that here. And finally, we have a uh, live path effect parameter for editing. And typically what that does is expose, exposes the original path of your uh, live path. Uh, we'll get into that another day. But uh, basically, that is nodes in Inkscape version 0.46. So thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.